You know, yesterday we were talking about, well, I filmed yesterday, about feeding and uh, about splitting. So what happened here, we have competition for the area, when I mean food competition. And that means that even if you have a lot of hives, it might not work out because food resources are low. In this area, I hate to say, I'm not going to say the whole area, they don't do any planting here, any, nothing to, for nature. I have not seen anything. I've drove around in my scooter and I have not seen anything. And bear with me, I'm a little dry here in my mouth and it's been a morning here. Had pg and out here, uh, putting in a new line and doing some stuff. But besides that, this video is about how not, well, this video is really about to go in your hives and check because if you don't check, they might be real hungry. And let's get started. Well, welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. We're here talking about how it went here when we had some hail in California. And uh, it's a little difficult because one of my hives here, because it got so cold in the 30s, wind up, uh, I don't know, but it wind up messing up the hive. Um, they were working a day ago and when the hail came in, it. Some of these bees are okay. I'm gonna have to rescue them. They seem very cold. Some of them are getting up. So I'm gonna just leave them here. But uh, it doesn't look good. It looks like they're very cold here and they had to deal with uh, the conditions of the weather changing uh, from, you know, 70 degrees, 65 to 30 at night. And I did have them covered right, but I had them stacked. And maybe there was too much airflow. I had them stacked up. And there's bees in here, and especially this one, but I don't know, I thought there was enough bees, and uh, it was warm, but things change, uh, climate change, I call it, uh, affected the hive. It even affected this one also. So, it's it's been too cold for them. I, they, they had a little bit of resources here. Uh, they didn't have any honey, so I put a frame of honey in here, and I one into the hive so I don't want to go back in it I'm a little aggressive right now and this one seems like it's waking up but it seems like it's a little cold so I'm gonna to try to tidy them up and put less boxes here so let it be a lesson sometimes you can't stack them early but I did I thought the weather would just change and it did it got colder and the hail came down as you know and it created some issues so and that issue is I may have lost uh, two hives. So, uh, I'm not really happy about that, but it happens. Uh, so, that's why there's less bees. I'm going through changes here. So, I'm going to clean this up here. You guys can look while I do this here. Let me, let me take this out here. One second. Foul brood enough, it just got cold all of a sudden, and it just took me for surprise. Uh, so that's what happens. So uh, they could be still alive, but it seems like they just got real cold and they had to deal with it. But let's see, because sometimes they recover. Uh, I have to get. I think they're just cold, so I'm gonna just let them sit. But before I tell you, what a mess. Look at that. Jesus. It's waking up a little, so I'm gonna have to make it smaller. I don't know, it's tough one here. You don't wanna throw out everything which you want to check but they got cold and uh, they couldn't handle the cold they got 30 degrees and 
you know, it's just to make a difference right now. I have the queen, I don't know where she is, it's probably at the top. But that's not what I was looking for. So I would say it's cold in here. When I put it back, I put back the brood all together here. I got some bees here. I'm gonna let them just sit here. Chopping here. I'm gonna just messing up this stuff. I'm gonna have to put it back together. A little easy for them, but oh wow, look at all those bees. Yeah, that is terrible. Well, this is the Kentucky Kentucky bees. Uh, these are the ones I got from Kentucky. I mean, Man Lake. I'm gonna say it. Uh, this is the. Uh, queen they were producing but for some reason it ain't their fault probably it's just the weather conditions and I did stack them but every else everything else is stacked and they're okay so it's not my stacking it's just the queen didn't make it the Kentucky Queen could be here hopefully but I don't think so but let's see so that's the damage okay and that's how it goes story, the old story how you lose bees and how things don't work out, so uh, it's, it's a shame, but that's how it goes. I will look in here and see if they're, I don't know, they seem, I don't know. I don't know if they're just cold and wake them up, maybe they'll look down here you know I'm trying to work with them I don't want to kill them because they could be just cold and if they're just cold they'll get out you know that doesn't look good uh, so that's what happens And they have resources, but I guess I want to tell you something about the drought and resources. Uh, you know, they're, we got a honey flow, but something's going on here, and I'm, there's not enough blackberries probably to right now for them. And, and the north is really hard. Uh, you know, we have hives in the south; and it's better. The north is tough. I don't. Mean, they don't do any flowering here. They don't put no flowers nowhere. So it's you know, the south is better for. Our production maybe and here we're just testing it and see what we got comes and goes out here in Forestville so uh, that is the story oh I'm gonna you know well, I'll do is try to rescue whatever I have here that's it uh, I don't like it I tell you it's not what I wanted so let me go ahead and figure this out Okay, so this is the scenario here. Uh, on the last video, we were talking about uh, splitting and looking at the hives, and we did, and we found some that didn't make it. Uh, so we recovered this one here, from here to there. If you notice that they're transferring over, trying to figure it out, but we had to recover that one. Hopefully, they'll make it free. This one here was a swarm, still. So Still doing good. I'm gonna have to go in here and see if they have enough resources. And this one here, these here, as you know, they were they were kind of built up like this one. Now 
we're just directing these to uh, here, hopefully, and then we'll take them from here and bring them to this disaster. So what happened here, this hive was, well, there was two hives, right, here at one time. And uh, this, these bees were over here, starved. No food at all. Uh, so I had to take from here which is nothing here now, but frames in here and just nothing there. So as you see, just, I gotta go back into this. I just got bees coming in. Hopefully I'll shake them off and put them in here. And what I have here is I have a uh, divider board here, right here. And those bees that are there, there's very little of them because you notice that they're all kind of vanished here. And, and I'm gonna show you right now. Well, if you look here, empty. I had to uh, shake these off this frame. You notice there's some bees on the frame, and that's how it looks. So they food, which I thought they were getting food. It looked like it, but they didn't. So uh, I had to deal with that. And that's what that looks like. Look at this. There's still bees moving in here, as you notice. Uh, but kind of a disaster not having enough resources and food. I did get the queen. They're trying to save her, feeding her and so on. But this is what it looks like. Uh, bees uh, starve. They're hungry. That's what's going on here. And, you know, I might, you know, I should spray them with some sugar water. Maybe they'll get alive. I don't know. Uh, let's give that a try. Hold on. Putting it back and trying to see if they can recover, but I don't think so. I think they just didn't grow fast enough. And I caught this. Uh, so. It's what it is, huh? Them up, they're starting to wake up a little bit. It's still too cold for them. We have to make the hive smaller. Hopefully, no. I don't know if they're clean in here or not, but I'm gonna have to look in here. Okay. How about the camera? That's the way it is. I gotta get through, I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through. Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with the view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. Sometimes I feel like.
think all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room They're waking up from the cold, see? It's just too cold for them. Uh, that's what happened. It got too cold. Uh, the temperature dropped to 30 degrees from 55, 60, and then you get the spell and you get this hit of cold and then the hail and the rain. They can deal with rain, but this just came too quick. Uh, and that's what it looks like when you. When the hive, I don't know, it just didn't work. It fed properly. I don't know if they got, like they have food in here. They have stores. I don't know if the queen's in there. I don't want to hurt her if she is there. Uh, that's a problem, so. I question Kentucky Queen right now uh, because it, other hives have went through a change. Uh, this hive went through a change. Uh, it's just, just as much bees. In fact, it's stacked. Uh, that's stacked, still going good. That's a split, still going good. So this one got hit because it was too cold. I don't know where that queen came from. Uh, it's just been a challenge here in the yard because of the different queens I have and different bees I get from different yards. Not that many different ones, but that's what happens. So you then you wind up not knowing what queen you have, where they come from, if you don't mark them. Uh, and you don't mark where they come from, and then... In the mix, you might be doing so many hives that you get confused and then you have to know where you're at. So I know where I'm at. These two hives is just, it's what it is. Gave them resources, just wasn't strong enough in that one. I know, I'm hoping that they don't get robbed right now. I'm trying to get them to wake up. <laughs> it's kind of funny waking up bees, but they were cold. So I'm gonna close it up real quick here. Can you see this is helping? I am sorry to what it is. There it is. There it is. I'm going to close this and hopefully uh, mm, it's a tough one. Uh, they can wake up and be great. Um, I don't think any more resources in here for them. They got honey in here, but their hive is small now. So it's, it's really I don't want this divider no more. I'm just going to let them do what they gotta do. Uh, they gotta crush some bees. It was, that wasn't a good idea. Oh boy. Make mistakes, huh? See? So I'll put this one up here. It's got food in here, so. That's all I can do right now. I'm gonna monitor this hive. It's really in trouble. Uh, it's got hit by the cold, so. Got some weight, got some honey. Tough one, guys. That's a tough one. See you in the next video. Problems at the bee yard. It's the bee business. You know what happens, so what you gonna do? All you can do is try. And then I have another one. Look at this. What's this? More cold bees. Look at this. So I knocked the front of the line. Oh, I know why, because some of the bees have. They're all gonna share each other somehow. Yeah, it's just really hit. It even hit this one too. This hive got hit too. I'm not gonna go in there because it seems like the cold got them. Look at that stuff. Look at this. I'm making flies, guys. I'm trying to wake them up. Disaster, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, see you guys soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, thumbs up. Please put your like button, it does help. And this is what I'm going through as a commercial beekeeper. Yeah, these are the problems. I right, take care. Bye.